Hi everyone, uh, this is Tom Doyle and I'm here on Level C in the National Museum of Ireland Country Life and at the background there you're looking out at the lovely grounds at Turlet Park House. So today we're going to make a St. Patrick's badge and we're going to need a number of different materials for this, uh, everything you can find in your home. So we'll start off with just a container to make a circle, pencil, some cardboard and you have to cut out something so you'll need a scissors and some scrap material, some ribbon and any more bits of scrap material you might find around the, the house. Now I found some of lovely patterned material with um, flowers on them. Um, don't go start cutting up bed sheets or anything. Um, make sure you have permissions to do to get any of the material because we like to recycle everything here. So we're going to make a St. Patrick's badge and this is an example of one in the collections and we're going to try and make the one I made earlier which is this one here. Okay so now we're going to just start to make the badge and you just need a, a container to make a circular pattern and you have your pencil and I suppose it's just a little tip if you're recycling material just make sure you keep it to the edge and it means that you're not you don't have to cut your way into the middle so what we're going to do here is I'm just marking off where I'm going to cut you get your scissors and you're cutting out your template for the badge have your template for your badge and what we're going to do next is we're going to cover this with some material like this but to stick it together we're going to need some glue so I have some glue here and I'm just going to apply that on to the card Just press it down, just make sure it's stuck. And just wait a minute for, let it, let it dry a bit. Now we're gonna cut around the template. Okay, so St. Patrick's badges, like the one that we saw earlier uh, in the museum collections, um, were made by children and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And I suppose one thing about St. Patrick's Day is that that day doesn't change, it's always the 17th of March. And St. Patrick's Day is great because it's the middle of Lent and if you were strict with your Lenten um, vows um, on St. Patrick's Day you could give them up and eat whatever you wanted and drink whatever you wanted on St. Patrick's Day. Um, but on the day itself you could make these badges and they're like a celebration um, for the feast day of the saint. So you'd wear them um, if you're at the parade or um, and just in honour of the, of the saint. But what you need on your St. Patrick's badge is St. Patrick's cross. And you all know what a St. Patrick's cross is because when I show you it will become fairly obvious. It's this red line here. So that's the St. Patrick's cross and if you can think about that in any flags you might know, uh, where would you see that cross? So let me give you a clue. Let's try this flag here, you might know that one. So that's the uh, Union Jack and that would have St. George's cross, and St. Andrew's cross and it has St. Patrick's cross in it. So St. Patrick's cross is that red cross there, okay? So we need that St. Patrick's cross in our, in our badge. Our Anasquelga, it's known as a Suntus Padraig. So that's a, that's a badge, St. Patrick's badge. So we're gonna put this ribbon and glue it on to this piece here. Let's go 
put on this red ribbon. We're going to double it up because the St. Patrick's Cross is the important part of this badge. Okay, so we're just going to, instead of cutting them at the side, I'm just going to glue them to the back. And it just kind of strengthens up the, the badge a bit. So again, just a, just a little bit of glue and that should hold it, hold it in place. So just fold them over into place. Okay, so we've just stuck that onto the back. So now we're going to add um, some more ribbon onto our, onto our template here. And I suppose think about what colors are associated with St. Patrick's Day. So we have some green ribbon, definitely green, it's associated with Patrick's Day. And also maybe a bit of yellow, just to, because you have all the, the new flowers coming out this time of the year. And St. Patrick once said that every day after his day would be a nice day. So things are looking up. And people would often use St. Patrick's Day as a kind of a marker to say that, you know, by this day on St. Patrick's Day, I have to have my potatoes planted. So you have to have your potatoes planted by St. Patrick's Day. So we're just gonna stick this onto our, our Patrick's badge. And again, more glue. I'm just going to stick it on. Okay, so we're just going to put down some of that ribbon, so our nice green ribbon there. And we might put our yellow ribbon the other way. So I'm just again sticking some of these um, loose ends to the back. Okay, so now we have our, our Patrick's cross and we have our butter ribbons attached. Now, what else do we need? Now this lovely one here in the museum's example, um, you can see that they've use needle and thread to do some little rosettes and uh, I suppose um, would, would have stitched them into the badge. Now what I was thinking we do <coughs> is find some of that kind of sc uh, scrap material we were talking about earlier and maybe cut out some of the flowers and maybe stick these on to our St. Patrick's badge. So I'm going to do that now. Um, so you could just imagine here we're just maybe cut out the flower. Okay, so that's our flowers cut out. And what we'll do now, again, was just we'll, like our example, we're going to um, just stick them on. Okay, so we're nearly nearly there with our St. Patrick's badge and what I'm going to do is I think we might put a couple of more ribbons down down the side here and we're nearly there. So again, just a bit more glue. And we have our Suenthus Fodrig, our St. Patrick's badge. Now, I'm not going to stick it on yet, wait for the glue to dry. But if you have a bit of tape, what you might want to do is maybe double sided tape or you can roll around a bit of sellotape, stick it on and then you can wear it, your St. Patrick's badge.
Okay, so there you have it. Um, why not have a go at making one of these at home and using the materials around the house and, and try and recycle some of those materials around your home. And uh, we'd love to see some examples. And if you can send in images to hashtag museum at home and have a great St. Patrick's Day and we hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video.